in China. They're now the biggest car market in the world. You may have heard that. They buy more cars than we do. Uh, and that I would say it's, it's fair to say they enjoy them a lot more, too. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, I, I hooked up with a driving club called the Beijing Target Auto Club. This is a group of people who, now that they have cars, want to take big trips with them. And they don't want to just go up for a weekend. They want to go for a couple weeks. And not only that, they want to go really, really fast. And, um, and then they want to have a good restaurant at night uh, where you can have a lot to drink and, uh, and a good bed to sleep in and then get up early and start again. And uh, so I had this great guy I uh, was paired with. I'd offered to drive. They said, well, that's, we're not sure uh, if you'll need to, but um, Mr. Zhu needs a passenger to share expenses. And I paid for me and my translator, Li Lu, um, who described herself as a taxi girl from Beijing. She said, I don't know why men want to drive in cars so far. Uh, uh, she thought the whole thing was crazy. Um, but she was a good sport. And so we went out for a couple weeks into central China. Uh, Mr. Zhu's Hyundai Tucson, uh, uh, he had this upscale edition of it with um, running bars and wood. And uh, it, was, it was three months old, and it had more than 10,000 miles on it. Uh, <laughs> he could not drive enough. Uh, he wanted to drive all the time. And uh, in China, I think this comes from a long feeling of having been denied cars. Even the Soviet Union had a lot more cars than China. The Chinese saw them on. TV, on movies, they knew the rest of the world was having all this fun in their cars, and they could not. And now they just, they know this is bad for the environment, this is bad for the planet, the cities are shrouded in smog, the pulmonary diseases of people as a result of emissions are a national health emergency, but they want to drive. And uh, so my group, Everybody had a sticker on their door with a number on it. They had CB radios so they could talk about where they were, who was getting there first. Um, they pass on the shoulder. They, uh, they see no reason not to do that. It's just as wide as the other lanes. <laughs> and if there are like sweepers in, on the shoulder, uh, <laughs> usually they get out of the way. Um, Sometimes there's a broken down vehicle and then you feel like you're in a video game where you've suddenly stopped and you shoot back into the slow lane and you shoot into the fast lane. And uh, it reached the point where I said, Lilu, uh, would you ask uh, Mr. Zhu if he would uh, slow down? Uh, and, I, and she did, and he, he didn't. And, uh, and I said, would you tell him that... Uh, China uh, is the most dangerous place on earth to drive uh, bec because the fatality rate is, is so high here, especially among men his age. And, uh, and she told him, and he looked over at me. And uh, I said, did you ask him to just slow down? And she said, I'll tell him again. And this time, he really gave me a look and speeded up. <laughs> 